I'm currently a principal chemical engineer. I'm part of a process engineering group that does product development and process development for new chemistries, new technologies that we want to sell. So our chemistry department and our research department comes up with new products, new solutions, and then they send that over to us to kind of scale it up on the manufacturing side. So that's probably like a good 50% of my job. And then the other part of my job is um, looking at new innovations um, for process engineering, new technologies and tools um, that we can bring into our plants and then trying them out at a pilot plant. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yep. Was there anything about chemical engineering that stuck out to you? And just in my first year of college, I think I learned a lot more of what chemical engineering actually was as far as making products and manufacturing oil and gas and all that stuff. And I was like, okay, that, that makes sense. So when I graduated in 2012, um, I really wanted to stay in Michigan. It took me a month or so. I didn't get a job until July after I got married, but it ended up working out. I got a job at A123 Systems, doing some pretty cool stuff, developing some uh, cathode chemistry for lithium ion batteries. So I learned a lot um, about just engineering, process engineering, working out of a, a pilot plant. But um, that industry wasn't making a lot of money. And the kind of the subsidies that we were getting from the government were starting to wind down. So I started looking for another place to work. Within like six months, I was able to get in at Henkel, which is a German manufacturer of chemicals and chemistries for automotive and home goods and a lot of different stuff. And I worked there for two and a half years. But then one of my friends from college, and he became the pastor of the church and he asked me to come help him with his church. So then we packed up and moved to Minnesota. Um, and then I kind of tried to find a new job here in Minnesota. Um, so I ended up um, at Ecolab and that's where I'm still at currently. We make soap, sanitizers, all kinds of different cleaning products for, for your hands, for hospitals, for all kinds of fun stuff. So um, chemical engineering um, all the way. Um, and I really enjoy what I'm doing now. Um, so right now I work in a pilot plant that's part manufacturing, part pilot plant, so that we're able to bring in new products, scale them up, and then test them out initially on like a smaller manufacturing scale. And then, um, and then we do a lot of work with the plants nationwide um, and around the world to kind of get it to the full scale manufacturing plant um, close to the customers. So what is that like, um, like taking a sample and then, like you said, like bringing it up or scaling it up? How is that process? Yeah, so that's, that's, again, that's, that's a big part of my job. So they, so essentially the chemist will come to us saying, hey, we, we were able to make this new product in a beaker and it works exactly how we want it to, to work. Now can you manufacture it? So we'll, we'll start off on probably a, a five gallon scale and we'll just kind of see how the chemistry works, see how the process works as given from the, the chemist. Uh, most of the time, it it never works the same way, and we have to tweak. Um, we either have to tweak the chemistry or tweak the process, and then we just keep trying to go up bigger and bigger and bigger um, until we get to a point where we're at you know tens of thousands of gallons, um, and, and able to make the same quality material. And how might you see your work uh, making a difference in society? Um, I think right now, I think you can see it um, all over. I think Ecolab especially. Um, just seeing Ecolab products are in any hospital you go to, you're going to see Ecolab hand sanitizer, restaurants you go to, hotels you go to. I know that our products are everywhere, helping people, cleaning things, keeping people safe. Working for a company that's dedicated to safety and clean cleanliness, to me, it's kind of like, yeah, this is, this is a good place to be right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, especially yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to move into a little more of the, uh, like, nitty-gritty. Uh, so um, I'm going to ask you to describe your typical work day. So kind of from, like, waking up to coming home and spending time with family. You know, sure. what, does a, what does a typical day in your life look like? Yeah, so um, pre, pre-COVID-19, um, it was, you know, just wake up get to work seven, seven thirty, And most of my days, it's either I have an experiment or I don't have an experiment. So on experimental days, I have to go in a little bit earlier. I'll meet up with my main operator that's going to be helping me throughout the day. Um, we'll kind of talk through what our experiment's going to be, um, any risks, um, 
for safe for safety um, any risks for quality any kind of watch outs that we need to watch out for as we're adding chemistry um, uh, and then we just start through the the mix instructions that I provided um, um, usually I'll let the operator get everything set up for an hour or so. So then I can go back to my desk and kind of just check my emails or whatever. And then usually around nine, nine thirty, I'm out there and we're working through our experiment, collecting data, looking at different things, taking pictures, taking videos, seeing how it goes. Um, and then, uh, as that experiment kind of wraps up, I just kind of make sure I've everything went well with the operator. We have everything packaged up. We have all the samples that we need. And then all my materials that I need sent for testing at the other building, make sure those are sent properly. And then for the most part, my day's done. Um, on days that I don't have experiments, I'm usually designing experiments, um, trying to think about what my next one is. I'm evaluating a previous experiment. Um, I work on a process safety team. So kind of throughout the week, I'll be monitoring um, different process safety events that may have happened or occurred in the plant. Um, and then I'll work with the process safety team to make sure that we kind of investigate the problem and figure out what's going on. Um, and then again, another part of my time is working with vendors on that innovation side of my work. So calling vendors, making sure things are on schedule, schedule making sure I can get, um, um, the test equipment in or seeing if I can send them material and they can test it there. Um, working with our capital team to make sure we have enough funding to, to and budget to, to, to test the materials. Um, so it's just kind of like on days where I don't have experiments, it's just a lot of either emails or meetings with people throughout the day. Um, lunch, you know, working on experiments throughout the day. And then I'll wrap up usually around 3.30 or 4. And then come home, spend a couple hours with my family. Um, I do a lot of church work, so I'll do some, some work here or there as needed. Um, I'm a apartment manager of my apartment, so if there's like leases that I have to work, work with, I'll do something with that. I'll mow the grass or, or snow plow or vacuum, a bunch of just like miscellaneous stuff around the apartment buildings that I have to do. So my days are pretty packed most days. Once I'm done with that stuff, then I'll come home, you know, play around with the kids some more and put them to bed and start all over again. Yeah, you seem to have your hands pretty busy there. So your plant really just has like a rolling line of new technologies. Yep. Yeah, we're swapping things in and out all the times. Everything we have is on wheels and, you know, we, we're running out of space with all this like test equipment. Um, but yeah, we, we try to test things as, as much as we can and, and get them rolled out. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So my next question is, how did your time in college prepare you or even not prepare you for uh, your career? Um, I would say it definitely prepared, prepared me for my career in a lot of different ways. Um, one being just how, how difficult it was and how much of a grind it was. I think that prepared me in a way um, to really, to really excel because to me, now that, now that I'm working in a professional setting, it's like nowhere near as hard as school. So if it's like, if I work half as hard as I worked in school, like I'm like excelling beyond all measures. So to me, it was just like college was just like this boot camp of, you know, this is like as hard as we can make it. And now like, all right, now you're just an expert at everything. Awesome. Yep. And I think uh, my last question is, uh, what advice would you give to someone who um, doesn't really know what their career looks like, um, but is still pursuing, you know, your chemical engineering track? Um, I would say anyone that's pursuing chemical engineering, just stick to it, finish your degree, everything that you learn at Michigan in chemical engineering is going to be able to help you in any chemical engineering role. So don't be discouraged about, you know, what type of products you're going to be making or chemistry you're going to be making, because I think you're going to be well prepared for what's coming at you and just, as long as you find something in chemical engineering, you're going to be well prepared. 